Hello, in this video I am going to show you a solution that I found to uh, an issue where the start button was not working. Microsoft Edge had disappeared from the taskbar. Uh, actually, the space for it was still there. If you hovered over it, it still said uh, Edge the way it does here. If you hover over it, it says Microsoft Edge. And the uh, store icon was uh, blank, but would still showed stored, still had the space there. So uh, this is this wasn't on this particular machine. It was on a client's machine, and I tried uh, all kinds of uh, suggested fixes. Nothing, nothing would seem to be working uh, until I I ran across a particular uh, entry on tenforums.com, uh, and there was a little batch file by by uh, Avio A V E Y O is the user there. For some reason, he's been banned at this point for a couple of weeks, but uh, totally helped uh, with this machine and I'm, I'm going to put post the link to that um, page in the video description below here on YouTube but uh, let's, let's get started and show the exact sequences of steps that I had to do so of course the start button wasn't working so I couldn't use that so control alt delete brought up this screen okay and then I went into the task manager. Now, when task manager came up, it looked like this, okay? Uh, the sort of simpler view. I had to click on more details to get this more complex view. In this view, the more details view, uh, I was able to click on file and run new task, okay? And check off, uh, create this task with administrative privileges. That's very important. And then um, to put in PowerShell, okay? Click OK, and this is the PowerShell window. Now, there's a uh, big ugly command that we're going to paste in here. So to paste into PowerShell, on the title bar, you can right click, go to edit, and click on paste. And here is the, uh, the command, which I will also add to the description of the video so that you don't have to try and interpret this long string here. And then I hit enter on the keyboard and it went through a whole process of um, kind of rebuilding uh, some of the app packages. All right, I'm not gonna do that directly in this video because this is this virtual machine, Windows 10 virtual machine, actually it doesn't have the same issue. So there's no point in my going through it here, but uh, While well, it was going through, just as a warning, there were, uh, it took some time, and in behind the sort of progress report that was going on, there were, in red, there were a whole bunch of uh, errors that popped up, and uh, you, you can ignore those, right? Uh, in all the forums that I've seen, they say, don't worry about the red text. So don't worry about the red text. What you're waiting for, though, is for uh, when it's actually done, you'll get back to this kind of a prompt, right? The PSC's colon backslash Windows System 32, sort of the default, but yours may be different if your Windows it has a different system path, okay? So once it's all done, you'll be back to this point. And you may find after that, you may simply find that uh, the start button is working, which would be great. That, that That's all that's needed by some people. But uh, let's assume not because this was what happened to me on my client's computer. So. Uh, the next thing that we need to do is go back to Task Manager, File, Run New Task, and this time we're going to uh, type uh, Explorer. And uh, we can put that as Admin 2 and click OK. All right. So, and you may be able to simply open File Explorer from the taskbar. Right. That's a, another alternative, but that may or may not be working for you. I'm not counting on the taskbar for this here. So what you want to make sure when File Explorer is open, and click on the View tab and make sure that Hidden Items has a check mark on it. Okay, that way uh, we you can actually see the folder that we're after here. So um, then you're going to go to this PC or the equivalent on your computer, and the idea here is to go to your system drive, which is usually uh, local disk C, but whatever it might not say local disk, it might have a different name, but C in brackets there. Again, it may be different if Windows is installed on drive D on your system for some reason, but generally it would be C. You're going to go in there. 
and you're going to go into the users folder and you're going to look for your username here if you don't see your username then you're going to look for a folder with the same name uh, that your user account was before you changed your username which uh, would be why you don't see it because say uh, if your computer came and owner was the name of the account by stock from the uh, you know the boxed store version of your operating system and you changed it to Kimberly or something you won't see Kimberly there you'll see owner the the folder name doesn't change when you change your username so uh, and if you're having trouble just look for something that's not default and not public right in in this case there's only the three it's the one that's not either of those uh, so anyway we're gonna go in there and we're gonna go into app data which you won't see if you didn't click off that view hidden files thing right and then you're gonna go into local and this folder here, Tile Data Layer, uh, you know, right-click and rename that, and, and just at the end of it, type in backup or put a bunch of underscores or something, and uh, you know, then hit enter. Now, on this machine, because there is no problem with the start button, it, I'm sure it's going to tell me that it can't be completed. There, there you go, because it's open in another program. Um, on my client's machine, it worked no problem. Uh, and I assume that's because it's Start and Cortana and Edge and Store and whatever just weren't hooking into it because they weren't working. Um, you may find a case where you have the Start button not working and not be able to change that, in which case you are going to want to create a new user, if, there, if you don't already have one, with admin privileges. That user needs to have admin privileges, and you're going to go into that account and then from that account go into this uh, user's app data local folder and change it because then it won't be running for that user you'll be logged in on don't switch users you have to log, turn off your computer restart it and go in fresh right and then you can rename the tile data layer now um, for some people again that may be all that's needed uh, reports are that uh, doing those two things has helped a lot of people uh, but on my client's machine, that still didn't help. So uh, the last bit was uh, to run this uh, batch file on, uh, that I found on 10forums.com uh, by a user called Avio, A-V-E-Y-O. And uh, for some reason, he's been banned. I don't know. He, he's very opinionated, but very helpful. And I'm very happy that he had this batch file there. I will put a link to the batch file in the description and what you want to do is uh, you want to run that um, from a, uh, a command prompt so you're going to file run new task and this time it's CMD and you want to again create this task with administrative privileges and click OK okay so uh, you'll see that um, your your uh, path in your command prompt again is the C Windows System 32 bit so it's a good idea to save the batch file into that folder right um, and the name of the batch file it's 10 services underscore default dot bat right so uh, I have copied that into my clipboard so I can go edit and paste okay so assuming that you have saved, you've, you've downloaded from the link I provide, you've saved this batch file into your System32 folder, and you've gone into your admin command prompt, etc., and then you're going to hit enter, you know, type in this name or paste it in, however you're going to do it, and then hit enter, it'll go through a bunch of stuff. There's a bit of a countdown at the start to give you a chance to um, cancel, right? But uh, after that, uh, and after rebooting, the start button was back, which was fabulous because I'd been working for several hours trying to get it done. So it was these three steps in that order that ultimately saved me and uh, allowed me to get the job done. All right. So check out the links and uh, and try this. If you've everything else has failed for you the way it had for me, uh, I think this may just be the trick that you need. All right. So this gets your start button and Edge and Cortana and the store all working again, all right?
please, uh, in the comments, uh, let us know what your experiences are and if you found that you had to do any other steps or, uh, you know, tweaks to this process. Uh, again, this is what worked for me. I'm hoping it works for you. If not, if you do get things working, please let us know what you needed to do uh, to, to push it along and go, go the distance. Thanks for watching, and I really hope this helps you out the way that it helped out me.